April is budget month, which may not seem like it's very exciting, but it is a very exciting time for the cities and towns of Massachusetts because it's the month that we figure out how we're gonna spend money that's come into the state on programs that are really important. Some of the exciting things that are happening is uh, education funding. We have decided that we have enough money coming into the state where we can continue to fund the Student Opportunity Act, which was a huge piece of legislation that we passed last year that made sure that we were funding funding our schools equitably across the Commonwealth. So we're going to keep increasing that funding, which is great. We've also set aside $40 million for our school districts because we're worried about declining enrollment. So with the pandemic, a lot of families chose to keep their kids at home to maybe wait a year to go to kindergarten. That means that it looks like our numbers are down when they really aren't. And we base our numbers off of enrollment in the fall. So this money is going to be a way for schools to make sure they don't lose out on any funding because because they might have had lower numbers in 2020. We're trying to convince the state that we should have money for a program called Safe Havens. So what are Safe Havens? Safe Havens are a place for people who are currently unhoused, um, who maybe are shelter adverse, maybe they're sleeping outside, to go indoors to have a safe place to live with wraparound services. So maybe that person has substance abuse issues, maybe that person has some mental health issues. A Safe Haven is a really low bar. They get to go inside, there's no judgment, they're given the help that they need to sort of figure out, are you able to live on your own and maybe get an apartment? Do you maybe need to go into a skilled nursing facility? But you're given between six and 18 months in this place with services, and we see incredible success rates. So it's a real investment in a community um, and in people because we're treating them with dignity, respect, giving them the services they need, and giving them all the tools they need to succeed.